Hello everyone, and welcome to the final embroidery tutorial for my 90 variation chain stitch sampler. Not that this will be my final tutorial. No, there's much, much more out there to explore, and I have a long list. A very long list. But this video brings us to the end of a very long exploration, I mean, seriously, it's been over six months now, of chain stitch and every possible variation of chain stitch that I could find, all creating one giant sampler of seven circles that's also a fun piece of abstract art if you choose your colors well. And let me just say this final color palette choice was not the strongest one on my part. One last stitch to learn today. Actually, it's not really a stitch we're covering, but more of a technique. This is chain band weaving. So again, this isn't really a particular stitch, but rather something you can play around with using chain stitch as a base. For the final third on this circle, start by outlining the two sides with either regular chain or cable chain. I'm just going to do regular chain in a cotton purl so it's nice and sturdy. Then get yourself a new piece of thread and start weaving it around between your two rows, going over and under the inner threads of the loops so that the outer threads stay stable and straight as a border. You can literally do anything here. I'm changing up my pattern every inch or so just to try some stuff out. I mean, half the time I don't even know what my pattern is, but this is a great way to experiment with weaving styles and find designs that you like, which you can then repeat on an actual embroidery piece in the future. Weaving is one of my favorite embroidery techniques. You know there has to be a whole video on that in the future. So I love any stitch that allows you to play around with options. You could even start another piece of thread and weave it through your first designs for added texture and color. So that is it you all, this little weaving technique closes our final circle and brings us to the end of our chain stitch exploration. Look, I am a giant chain stitch fan, but I might need a little break now, do some satin stitch or something. Well, it has been a pleasure taking you through all of these stitches, and I of course plan to do numerous craft art and stitch tutorials in the future, so if there is anything you would love to explore with me, do let me know in the comments below and I will add it to that very long list of mine. If you'd like to learn all 90 of these stitches, then check out the PDF pattern for my chain stitch sampler in my Etsy shop, which is linked in the description below. Thank you so much to everyone who has been watching and subscribing and following along. I truly appreciate all of your support and it is such a joy to spend my time researching, stitching, filming, and editing so that I can share what I am learning with all of you. I look forward to all of the explorations coming up and I will see you then.